This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. This corporation tax uh, chapter discusses what happens if we have a long period of account that is longer than 12 months long. So, as we learned in the previous chapter, you can only have a period of account, sorry, an accounting period of 12 months. So if your period of account is longer, i.e. your set of accounts, the accounts that you've done for your financial year, um, needs, it is longer than 12 months, then it needs to be split. And as I explained to you before, it's 12 plus. Which means that you need to divide both income and expenditure into those two periods. Now, some of this is very obvious. Um, if you have a set of adjusted profits, then you will need to time a portion that accordingly. But you can do two separate computations because you will have dates. And that will allow you to do that. Property income and loan relationships is normally on an accruals basis. Gains, QCDs and dividends will all be on dates because you have dates and therefore you can put them specifically into one or the other. Um, it does come up occasionally, this, but it's a very short chapter because we only have one example. A PLC prepared accounts for 15 months to the 30th of June 2024. The results were that for the period were adjusted profits of 4 million, which we will need to time and apportion. Gains, and we have a date. QCDs, and we have dates. The tax written down value for plant and machinery at the beginning was nil. Capital transactions during the 15 month period were a van on that date and plant and machinery of 200,000 on that date. So let's see how that looks if we put it into a computation. So what we need to do is we need to split the computation always 12 months first which will be to the year ended 31st of March 24 and then the three months to the 30th of June 24. Now the profits of 4 million will be pro rated and time apportioned. Capital allowances which will be deducted. We're going to work those out in a minute. And as always, I'm setting up my pro forma and doing the nice easy bits first and getting as many marks as I can. So that will give us tax adjusted profits. Sorry about that, that's my phone. Let me just switch it off. And the gain now. Let's have a look at the date. The date was the 6th of May. The 6th of May. Therefore, that gain will go in here. Because it happened after the 31st of March. We then have some QCDs. Let's have a look what the notes say annually on the 31st of July. So that will come out of there. And you see what I'm doing is I'm copying the question out of into the answer, which gives me my T, T, P. So I'm going to get one mark for adjusting the profits, one mark for putting the gain in the right place, one mark for putting the QCD in the right place, and we're probably going to get two marks for the each of the capital allowances. So that's five marks, three of which you've got for copying. Okay. Now, as I said before, this is copying the question into the answer, not copying from the person sitting next to you, which is not allowed. Okay, so let's do capital allowances. So we've got capital allowances for the year to the 31st of March. And we have £68,000 worth of income which we spent, we're going to get AIA of 100% and get a full 68,000, which we can put in there. 
and then the capital allowances for the period to 30th of June 24. Now I would then write how long that is so that I remember. Bit of a safety net there. Three months. So we have, we spent a million pounds, didn't we? Let's check the notes. Um, two, no, 200,000, sorry, 200,000, 200,000, the limit's a million pounds, isn't it? Okay, so we could get AIA 100%, but we've only got three twelfths times one million pounds. Now that is 250,000 which means that that gets full AIA of 100%. So that can go in there, and it's just then a case of finishing off the maths. So that would be 600,000, which makes that 680. That's going to be 3132. Now gain three one three two three one one two. Oh, too many zeros. So that's long periods of account.